Hi everybody, Ken here and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys how easy it is to import your roster from Marvel Strikes Force in-game into both msf.gg and the Sarah Tools Organizer um, roster tools. So both I think are amazing tools. They both bring this different aspects of the game that you can work towards um, outside of the game. So quite fun very fun to use and it's very easy to do so i wanted to show you guys how to do this straight from your phone um so it's as simple as going the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the game and i think everybody knows this by now but i wanted to show it anyways if you go under your settings and the top right side of your game you're gonna find the advanced sections and under the advanced section i need you guys to click the allow portrait orientation on this is gonna help you guys take the longer screenshot of your roster, which is gonna be needed for the next portion of you being able to take your roster into both tools. So in this case, it doesn't really need, it doesn't have to be a perfect screenshot in the sense of like if you make a mistake and you have the same row showing on the on the screenshot the second time around, it's fine. Uh, it the the tool itself is gonna figure it out once you do the screenshot. So nothing's really gonna be duplicated. As you can see here on this last, last screenshot that I'm taking, it's still gonna showcase um, some of the some of the the, the tunes that are, are part of the, the second screenshot. So from here, you're gonna wanna go to your browser. The website is msf.gg, right? But in order for you to take your roster screenshots that you just took, you need to go into imgbb.com. Select the images to upload. Once you tap in that icon, you're gonna see that the photo library take photo part comes out, but you're gonna go into photo library. You're gonna go into your section for your, your pictures. And uh, the screenshots are at the bottom. So I clicked on all three of them. You're gonna you're gonna have a lot of options when it comes to how to either keep them or delete them in the next couple of minutes, hours. I always select after one day just in case um, I made any changes to it. So you're gonna click the upload button, and it's gonna take just a, a few seconds for it to update. So it's a very simple, easy um, step to to take your your screenshot into the game. So once it's done and all three images have been uploaded, you're gonna see that it did generate the URL links. And you're only gonna wanna press copy on the right side. So I made the screen a little bit bigger just so you guys can see it. Just press copy. Once you have the, the URLs copied, then the next thing that you need to do is you need to go back to msf.gg and like I said, if if you haven't made your account, you can't go um, any further. So make sure you have created an account in the website. Once you have created an account, and in my case, you're gonna see me log in in a little bit, but once you have created an account, then you can do all these changes that are gonna be coming up next. So I log into my website. And then from here, you, you're you gonna see that I am going to look for the roster portion of the website. You just have to click on that that menu drop down button in the right side, and I go under roster. First, I'm showing my settings, so you can show. It's gonna show you your PID, your in-game information, um, your Discord ID. That's uh, set aside for MSF tools as well. So, just something else that I want to show. The roster information, the summary is gonna be right at the top, and then as you see me, I'm gonna scroll down. And you're gonna wanna go into your MSF tools portion. The, the green button is what we wanna click next. I'm showing you what I have previously saved. It should be the same roster, but I, I did take another screenshot just for this. So you're gonna wanna click on the left, the purple MSF tools discord. If you haven't invited MSF tools yet, this is the one button that you want. You need to press the other one, the green one, it's if you have already done it, or you can just go straight to discord from here if you have already done so. So in this case, I already have MSF tools, it's just for me to open MSF tools. But if you haven't, you're gonna go into their Discord. Now you don't need to do anything in their actual Discord, you just need to go directly and speak to the toolbox. As you see here, and you activate it very simple, all you have to do is just greet it, say hi, hello. So as soon as you type uh, hello, 
it's going to respond back to you. And then this is where that step of you taking the screenshots takes the effect. It's going to be uploaded. The toolbar is going to read them. And as you can see, three have been added to the queue. And all you have to do is press su submit on your end. So when you actually submit it, it takes like four to five minutes, I would say, for everything to kind of take place. Um, I didn't want to like keep you guys just holding here for like another five minutes. So I did I did cut it, don't worry. We're not gonna be waiting for like five minutes for it to update. So um, I just wanted to showcase though that the roster is showing. So when this is taking place, it's gonna tell. It's gonna show you just this loading screen for you. The status um, bar right here is for you if you wanna go ahead and check the status. But like I said, it just takes like four to five minutes for it to take take place. So then I, here's what happens after like four or five minutes. You're gonna see that the toolbar does respond back to you. The screenshots have been accepted. So then from here, you decide what you want to do next. I just go ahead and I click save. And then it's going to give you the option of, of selecting either the ID or the URL. In this case, we want the ID. The ID is the one link that you're going to want to use for both uh, Sarah tools and, and MSF.gg. So it's plain and simple. I already copied the ID number. So where's my ID section right there? That's the previous ID code that I had uh, before doing this video. So I deleted and I copy the new link that was generated in Discord. I think it's very simple for you guys to do. Everything updates automatically. You're gonna see it in a second, roster saved. A little bit you're gonna see the loading bar and then voila you're gonna see your roster all your red stars all your stars level everything's gonna get updated automatically when you do the id uh, the only thing that you have to update on your own end is you go and you change the basic the special the ultimate and the passive so let's say you uh, are, are just updating your roster this time i'm not doing it for the first time you're gonna have to any changes that you did let's say that i worked on ebony ma um or in this case let's say that i worked on on shuri and shuri right now i did either her special or her ultimate then i'm gonna change those values into sevens and that's that's the only thing that you have to do manually. It's, it's an amazing tool. In this case, you can scroll through the bottom tabs and you can see um, that your roster has been pretty much just uh, automatically imported into the tool. I utilize this tool to 
to keep track of my shards for like legendary events and all that sort of cool stuff so both are amazing tools this one like i said you can have your entire alliance and you can if you're a war captain or something like that you can go in and update rosters this way and set your defenses if you need to there's war defense layout so tons of fun stuff that you can do on the website as well but importing your roster is that simple guys uh, i hope you guys found this tutorial kind of easy to do uh and more than anything thank you guys for stopping by the channel checking out this video and and if you had a good time and you enjoyed the content make sure that you leave a like i do stream in twitch uh twitch.tv slash cancer uh, and i try to stream monday wednesdays and fridays so thank you guys so much i hope you guys have a great day take care